we're given the following reaction and its Kp value at 25 degrees C. They provide us with some initial partial pressures for all three substances and then they want us to find the equilibrium partial pressures of these three substances. So as I've read that the words initial and equilibrium really stand out in my mind. And knowing what we're talking about right now first thing that comes to mind is to use the Rice method. So what I want you to do is I want you to go ahead and pause the video and try to complete the Rice table on your own and when you come back I'm going to walk you through that. So what you should have done for your rice is to write the reaction, write down all the initials that it gave us, and then the change we don't know, so we're going to use X's. And remember, use the coefficient in front of each substance as the number in front of X. Then you want to add straight down, and that gives you what it is at equilibrium. Well, we're provided a K sub P, so that means we know we're going to use K sub P equals, and that means we have the pressure of the product, the ICL, and that's going to be squared because it's got a 2 in front, divided by the pressure of I2 times the pressure of Cl2. There are no superscripts because I don't have a coefficient in front of it. So all I need to do now is I'm going to plug in the values I had for E. So remember what those are these right here. This is what we're concerned about. So I want you to plug those in, kind of the same song and dance we just did. Pause the video, do that, complete the quadratic equation if that's what you need to use, or if it's just basic algebra, and then come back and I'll walk you through how to do that. So for me, the best way to do this was that I noticed that something was squared on top and I could make something on the bottom squared. So I actually put that together to get this fraction. That way if I have something squared and something squared, I can take the square root of both sides. And then when I do that, I got the next step. And then I need to cross multiply and set equal. So that's what I did right here. And then I expanded that in the next part. Now I need to get all of my x's on one side. So I'm going to add the square root of 81.9x to both sides. I get this next new line. Then I want to solve for x, so I divided by everything in front of the x on both sides of the equal sign. Now that's great, but what happens? Well now I need to look at significant figures. Well again we've got three in each of the givens. Remember the zeros don't count because there's no numbers in there. So that tells me then that x will equal to 0 0.123. Now where am I going to use that? Well, remember that's this kind of purpley color that we circled back here on the E. So we're going to do that. How am I going to do that? I'm just going to plug in the x in there, do the subtraction or just do the multiplication. So the pressure for I sub 2 is going to equal to 0 0.150 minus 0 0.123, which gives me approximately 0 0.027. Remember, this is pressure, so it's going to be atmospheres. Well, I also know that the pressure for Cl2 was also the same thing, the 0 0.150 minus X. So this number is going to be exactly the same as what I just found. So I'm going to get 0 0.027 atmospheres. And then finally I have the pressure for ICL. Well we notice this time what? It's 2 times x. So I'm going to take 2 times 0.123 and when I do the rounding and everything to three significant figures I get 0.246 atmospheres. So this right here is going to be your final answer.